of the many, many interviews you've done over, over your time, and particularly about with world leaders, which ones impressed you and, and, and you walked away with a, a different point of view as a result of talking with them? Well, the most important uh, interview I ever did was when uh, Anwar Sadat became the uh, head of the Egyptian government. And uh, he, he was the unexpected leader. Uh, there, the government had been run by the military, a cadre of five generals. Uh, he was the least of those expected to be uh, go to the top uh, uh, upon, the, in this case, the death of the fellow who was running the country. Uh, but somehow or other, they picked Anwar Sadat. And if, uh, everybody who had any knowledge of Egyptian politics felt with certainty that they were putting him into the job to remove him as soon as they could decide who would be the general taking over, because he was the weaker one of that. Well, so they, so they pointed him, and everybody assumed it was a temporary thing. He, he didn't start out doing anything of very, any great importance. But since nobody really understood him, I decided I would get the first television interview with him. I was always kind of fascinated with Egyptian Middle Eastern news. So I went over and got this interview. That he granted it to me. And I flew over and and uh, sat down, we sat down under the banyan trees with the flies and mosquitoes all around us. And uh, his smoking his pipe, and I smoking my pipe, the one thing we had in common at any rate. And uh, uh, it, it was boring. He was talking about what he was going to do with Egypt and all that kind of thing. And he droned on and on. And I had been up all night flying, and I could hardly stay awake. My <laughs> eyes were closing. And, and then I suddenly thought I heard him say, and I shall go to Israel. And I said, I couldn't have heard that. I said, excuse me, excuse me, did, did you say you were going to Israel? Yes, 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 Walter. I shall go to Israel. When are you going? He said, I will go any time. My gosh, I had a, quite a story. But then, then uh, I said, well, uh, what, what are the conditions? He said, well, just as soon as they get out of the Sinai and, you know, and that all, uh, the whole litany of things that the Egyptians wanted out of them. So I, I didn't have a story at all. And I went home and, uh, and reported this stuff. But I, heard, I didn't report that. It wasn't. An interesting story. It was, a, a, just, you know, it just wasn't anything of importance. However, uh, it turned out that he was repeating that to some people, and not sure, not so long after I had been with him, a Canadian delegation was visiting the Middle East, uh, the Canadian parliamentary delegation, and they were in the hall as he was speaking to his. Congress, to his thing. Uh, and uh, in it he said, and uh, I shall go to Israel. And uh, they had to leave to catch a plane to, to go to Israel themselves. So they never heard any contradiction of that or any con conditions for it. Uh, but uh, uh, when they got to Israel, they started spreading this around, that he had said he was coming to Israel. Well, that got a lot of uh, talk in the press in Israel particularly, uh, and uh, th that was on a weekend. Uh, so I, as soon as I got in for the evening news on Monday, we, I called up my new friend Sadat, and uh, I said, uh, uh, there's all this talk because this Canadian delegation was there when you made a mention. I said, uh, uh, what are you, uh, are you still, are you going to go to Israel? Yes, 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 Walter. I said, well, what, uh, what, are, what are the conditions? Well, just as soon as they get out of the sign, I mean, the same old stuff. So I said, well, then those would be your conditions for going to Israel. He said, no, 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 Walter. Those would be my uh, the conditions for peace. I would go any time. And I said, would you go today? Yes, 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 Walter. And I said, well, you probably would need an invitation from the Israelis. He said, yes, 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 they would have to in invite me. And I said, great, thank you. Well, we immediately got on. My producer already was getting on the air. We got to Begin, the, the, 
the head of the, in Israel. And we got him. I got him on a telephone, a wire, and told him about this. And uh, he looked like I'd hit him in the solar plexus. He looked like he was breathless. He, he he said he would come here, and I said yes. Well, tell him to come. Tell him to come. <laughs> And I said, well, I think he would need an invitation. Tell him he's got an invitation. <laughs> I said, well, I can't tell him that. It's up to you to tell him that. Well, I'll you know, tell you, know, you can do it. I said, well, I can't do it. And he said, well, I'll, I'll get it done. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have your American embassy do it. They'll do anything we ask them. I'm, I'm sure he said that. People later said they didn't hear him say it. But I think at any rate, uh, they indeed... Uh, invited him. Uh, I, uh, I told him that he said could come that week. And that was Monday, and he said, "Well, uh, I, I want him to come. He must come, but I can't have him come this week. I'm, I've got a meeting in uh, in London with the Prime Minister." Never, 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 never mind that. That's not important. Tell him to come. Tell him. So he came, and uh, that was the beginning of the recrochement. Right. That it still goes on to that degree. Uh, Sadat was a very brave man uh, to do that. And indeed, it did cost him his life. I'm sure he was assassinated by uh, some of his uh, uh, Egyptian radicals. The, uh, and a great shame because I think one of the greatest things that's important in a politician is political courage. And it takes, when it takes courage, one of the leaders must... Uh, uh, exercise that courage and do what they know is right. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about physical courage, but political courage. Uh, and there are not enough of our leaders and other leaders in other countries that have that courage.